everyone, thanks for joining. Today's class is going to be an upper back mobility and stretch workout. So this is perfect for anyone working at a desk most of the day or um, sitting at a computer, finding themselves carrying lots of heavy bags or children or breastfeeding um, or anyone that just wants to maintain good mobility and flexibility in their spine. So all you need is your mat and we are going to start on your hands and knees. So we're going to get you with your hands under your shoulders and your knees under your hips. And we're going to start with your cat-cow exercise. So first of all, dropping your head, rounding your spine, pushing your shoulder blades apart and tucking your tailbone under, creating a big arch through your spine. And then you're going to look up and drop your spine to the floor. So you're going to breathe out as you round your spine. Breathe in as you drop your spine to the floor. So again, imagining that we're creating a big N shape with your spine. And then dropping down and creating a big U shape with your spine. Let's do that once more. Rounding your spine up. And dropping your spine down. And then we're going to find that neutral position. So now we're going to work on some rotation. So you're going to start by taking your right arm, threading it under your left arm as you bend your left, left elbow and left, look at your hand as it sweeps under as far as you can. And then look at it as it sweeps up the other way as far as you can. So you're going to breathe out as you sweep the arm under. Breathe in as you sweep the arm up. Once more, under, rotating as far as possible, and up. And then come back to the center. Now we're going to do the same on the other side. So breathe out as you sweep your left arm under your right arm, and twist. And breathe in as you come up. Breathe out as you twist under. Breathe in as you come up. Once more. And then come back to the center. All right, so now we're gonna come into a child's pose position. So you're gonna just sit back on your heels and reach your arms forward as far as is comfortable. Just taking three deep breaths. And then you're going to walk both hands to the left side of your mat, trying to keep the right hips down and stretching out the right side of your body. Again, just breathe. And then slowly walk your hands over to the right, stretching out the left side of your body and breathe. And bring those hands back to the middle and now we're going to come into puppy pose so you're going to lift your hips over your knees and now just reach your arms forward and drop your chest to the floor so we're trying to get some extension through your your thoracic spine your upper back and again just breathe just moving as far as is comfortable And then slowly come back up onto your hands and knees. And now we're going to do back to that cat cow, but now being a little bit more free with your movement. So instead of just up and down, you're going to try and do big kind of circular movements with your body, rounding your spine as you circle around and drop down. Just getting nice free movement through the spine. And then change direction going the other way. Just playing around with what feels nice. And then come back to the middle. So now let's meet in a seated position. All right, so here we're going to come back to that rotation movement. So sitting up nice and tall, we're gonna take your right hand to your left knee, left hand behind you, and use your hands to just gently pull you across as you twist looking over your left shoulder. 
and then come back to the middle and then now left hand to right knee, right hand behind you, twist looking over your right shoulder. So let's go again to the left, so you're going to breathe in, breathe out to twist, breathe in to grow tall again, breathe out to twist a little further and then release. Let's go the other way, breathing out to twist, breathe in to release a little bit, breathe out to twist a little further and then come back in again. Perfect, so now we're going to take your arms into this L shape on either side and again try and keep your hips fixed. We're going to come back into that rotation, rotating left, back to the middle, rotating right, back to the middle. So breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, let's do one more, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in and release. Arms by your side. Now coming into a little side bend. So you're going to just reach one arm over the top, feeling that nice stretch through the side of your body. And then sweep it over the other side. And again, sweep it over and reach as far as is comfortable. And the other way. And then back in. Now popping your hands into the centre of the mat, you're just going to slowly walk your hands forward as far as feels comfortable, dropping your head between your arms. And then slowly come back. Perfect. All right, now let's come into a high kneeling position. All right, so a lot of the time we can feel stiff in our upper, upper back because we're tight either through the pecs or between the shoulder blades and um, into the rhomboids. So let's do a nice stretch through the rhomboids between your shoulder blades. So imagine you're hugging a big beach ball. You're going to take your chin to your chest and really round through the upper back, pushing your shoulder blades apart. Imagine you're hugging a really big beach ball and you're trying to get your fingers around the side to touch. Just hold that position. And release. And now we're going to stretch out the front. So you're going to take your hands behind your back, interlace your fingers, squeeze your shoulder blades together, open through the front, and then lift your arms away. And just feel that stretch through the chest. And then release. All right, now we're going to come onto your side. So this is an exercise called arm openings. So you're going to lie on your side with your knees bent, head resting on the floor, either on a pillow or if you're comfortable with it, just on the floor, and your hands one on top of the other. So we're trying to move just the upper body, keeping the lower body still. So just like opening the page of a book, you're going to breathe in to prepare. Breathe out, open that top arm, turning your head to follow your hand and opening like a page of a book as far as you feel you can. Breathing in to hold, breathe out, slowly come back. And again, you're going to breathe out to open and twist. Breathe in to hold, breathe out to come back. Last time, getting as much movement through the upper back and getting a nice stretch into the chest again, turning your head as well, and then slowly come back. Perfect. Let's do the same on the other side. So we're going to start with your knees bent, feet together. Again, taking a breath in. Breathe out, you're going to open and twist. And then slowly come back in. And again, open and twist. Hold for a breath in. And then slowly. 
slowly come back to the middle. And then last time, open and twist. Breathe in to hold. Breathe out to come back. Perfect. Rolling onto your back. We're just going to hug one knee and then the other into your chest and just hold them in nice and tight. If you feel comfortable, just lift your head up. Give those knees a little hug. And then slowly down, relax one leg down at a time. And now getting your arms nice and wide on the mat, on the floor at least, feet and knees together. We're going to just take both knees to the right as you look over your left shoulder. Find that nice spine twist. And then knees to the left, head to the right, twisting the other way. Once more, knees to the right, head to the left. And then knees to the left, head to the right, and back in. Perfect. So slowly make yourself, make your way back up into sitting. And then we're just going to finish off with a few little shoulder rolls, just releasing any tension through the neck and shoulders. Relaxing your arms by your side. Just take your chin to your chest. And then looking up and back, back to the middle, ear to shoulder one way, and then the other, just releasing out the neck a little bit, and you're done. Well done everyone, thanks for joining. I hope you enjoyed that and you feel a lot more mobile and flexible in your upper back. So if you enjoyed it, this is a really nice one to do daily or at least a few times a week. Um, so do, do feel free to try it again um, and give us a thumbs up, maybe leave a comment if you enjoyed it and do subscribe. See you soon. Bye.